Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to teach you right now about isosceles trapezoids. So, what does the word isosceles mean? Uh, you've seen this word before. It, it, you've seen it in triangles, isosceles triangles. So, isosceles, isosceles just means uh, two sides are congruent. Now, let's look at this trapezoid. Um, this side definitely doesn't look like it's congruent to this side, but this side looks like it's congruent to this side. So, how do we show that? Let's put a tick mark, and let's put a tick mark. So that means that this is isosceles, two sides are congruent. And because it is a trapezoid, the main thing that makes a trapezoid a trapezoid are two sides are parallel. So let's mark those two sides that are parallel uh, with one arrow and one arrow as a little refresher. Um, from the previous video. So, what's well, so uh, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? What 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 does that tell us? So, isosceles trapezoids. If you remember, with isosceles triangles, they have two sides are, that are congruent, and they also have two angles that are congruent, and those angles are called <gasps> base angles. So, isosceles triangles also have base angles. Um. And remember, so trapezoids have two bases. Yeah, two bases. Uh, we could call this ba base one, and we could call this base two. And with those two bases, they each have their own pair of base angles that are congruent. So let's put an arc here for this base's base angle and its pair. So remember, base angles are congruent. So with the two sides, these base angles are congruent. And this and this right here, this pair of base angles are congruent. So I saw these trapezoids, two bases, two pairs of base angles that are congruent. Uh, so fact number one about I saw these trapezoids, well, well, the, the most basic fact, two sides are congruent, and those sides are not the parallel sides. So, these are the congruent, these are the parallel, and you can look at it, you can see it, you can tell. And then the next one is, um, the big one, two pairs of base angles that are congruent. All right, so we have two sides that are congruent, not the parallel sides, and we have two pairs of base angles uh, that are congruent. So for example, if I showed you, uh, if I said that this angle right here, it looks like an, it's a cute angle. Let's say that this angle is 50 degrees, then its base angle has to be also 50 degrees. And because, and if you remember in the previous video, these two lines are parallel. This is a transversal. So these two are supplementary. So if this is 50, this has to be 130 degrees. And this angle right here also has to be 130 degrees because they're congruent and these two are supplementary. So look at that. All four angles add up to 360 because it's a quadrilateral. Uh, the two pairs of consecutive interior angles still add up to 180 degrees. And the base angles, two pairs of base angles, are congruent. Isosceles trapezoids. There you go, folks. So let me show you. Another example of isosceles trapezoids. Find the indicated angle in the isosceles trapezoid. This is 62 degrees. There's a few ways you can do this. You could go, well, here are the congruent sides. These are the base angles. So this is also 62 degrees. And this line is parallel to this line. And this is the transversal. So these two angles are sub. Supplementary, so 100 minus 62 would be 118 degrees. Um, yeah, I believe that is correct, but right now my mental math is not very confident, so 180 minus 62, yeah, I should be more confident, it is 118.
Okay. Um, so there you go. You could have done 62 and found this was 118 and said these two are base angles also, and those would have been congruent. So two ways of doing it. All right. Or you could just say that because of that, then the opposite angles are supplementary like that. So that's also a different way of doing it. If you notice that, that little pattern right there, opposite angles are supplementary. Yeah. Cool. All right. Find the value of X in the isosceles trapezoid. So let's do this one. It's isosceles. Uh, these two angles are supplementary. So 75 minus 180 would be 105 degrees. These are base angles like that. Yeah. So, oh yeah, press pause and try to do this on your own without me. And then press play and then then follow along, see if you got it right. 105, 51x plus three. Subtract three from both sides. That's 102 equals 51x. Divide both sides by 51. And what do we have? X is equal to two. And you could plug that back in. 51 times two is 102 plus three would be 105 degrees. There's our final answer. Okay. Um, yeah, all right. Or you could have said 51x plus 3 plus 75 adds up to 180. Different way of doing it. So now let's go back. There's one more fact about isosceles trapezoids other than their two base angles. Now, this only works for isosceles trapezoids. Fact number three is... Their diagonals are congruent, but okay. And I just I'm, we're gonna put this in here because I don't want you to mi mix this up with parallelograms. Uh, do not bisect each other. They do not bisect each other, even though they're congruent. So let me show you what I mean. Let's take this. Let's take this. Let's draw this diagonal. And let's take this and draw this diagonal. Yeah, this entire line right here looks like it, that it's congruent to this entire line right here. But look, they, they definitely don't bisect. They're not, this isn't an equal half. This isn't the half of this. This one's way longer than this. And this one, no. So no, but we can say that this little piece right here is congruent to this little piece right here. And this longer piece is congruent to this longer piece. And so that makes this entire diagonal congruent to this entire diagonal, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. Two isosceles triangles, if you notice that also. Um, so yeah, so there's your, there are your three facts. Diagonals are congruent, but do not bisect each other. Just they make two non-halves, pieces. Uh, two pairs of base angles, two sides are congruent and not the parallel sides. Make sure to highlight that in your notes. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then let me show you an example. So, find the value of x in the isosceles trapezoid. So, mk, this entire thing is 10. nl is this entire thing is 8x minus 6. And what did we just learn? Diagonals are congruent. That means this entire thing is this is the same length as this entire thing. So, we can set them equal to each other. 10 equals 8x minus 3. I forgot to say, pause. Try to do this on your own without my help. Um, but if you're already here, might as well just ride this wave. Uh, so we got 10 plus 6 is 16 equals 8x. And we're going to divide both sides by 8. So x is equal to 2. There's your final answer. Plug the 2 in there. 8 times 2 is 16 minus 6 is 10. 10. Both diagonals are 10. That's it. Look at that. And then this very last example. Oh, this is a tricky one. Look at this one. All right. LN is 16 yards. It's an isosceles trapezoid. Press pause. Do this on your own. And then once you're done, unpause. 
ln is 16, mj is negative 5x, nj is negative x plus 4. Let's look back. Let's look back at our notes. Let's look back at our facts. Look. This side, this piece of the diagonal is congruent to this piece. This piece is congruent to this piece. So what can I do? I can say that this piece right here is also negative 5x. And we know that right here, ln is 16. So this entire thing equals 16. Yeah. So this is 5x. This is negative x plus 4. And this entire thing is 16. So we can set it up as negative 5x plus negative x plus 4. Both of these add up to 16. It says this entire thing is 16 yards. So this piece plus this piece have to add up to 16. Then from there, it's just algebra. Negative 5x plus negative x is negative 6x plus 4. Uh, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides, which is 12 equals negative 6x. Very last step. Uh, divide both sides by negative 6, divide by both sides by negative 6, and x is equal to negative 2. There you go. x could equal negative 2. That's fine, because when we plug it in, negative 5 times negative 2 would be positive 10. Negative x, so negative of negative 2 plus 4 would be 6. And look how that works out. 6 plus 10 adds up to 16. So we know for sure that this is correct. The mundo. All right, so sausage trapezoids, there are your three facts. Um, hope that helps. Remember, not only is, is it a regular trapezoid, whereas a pair of parallel lines, but as a pair of congruent sides, uh, two pairs of base angles and the diagonals are congruent. They don't bisect each other. All right, have a great day. Goodbye.